Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus, where medicine makes perfect sense. Let's continue our anatomy playlist. In previous videos, we talked about skin, fascia, and tendons. Today, it's time to turn our attention to bursae. The singular is bursa. The plural is bursae. What do they contain? Synovial fluid, just like your joint capsule. What's the clinical significance of that? They can get inflamed called bursitis, and this infection might spread to other parts of the body. But why did my bursae get inflamed in the first place? Because of chronic overuse or trauma, especially if you work as a maid or a babysitter or a mechanic or any manual job that causes friction between one of your joints and a hard surface. That's one of the reasons protective knee caps exist. Do you remember this? This is a bone, this is a bone, and between them you have a joint, which facilitates the movement of one bone relative to the other. What's in my joint? You have synovial fluid in your synovial joints, all right? If this synovial fluid escaped the joint capsule and went around the capsule, this is what you call a bursa. By the way, if you want to learn more about bones and cartilages, please check out my biology playlist here on YouTube. I even talked about the haversion system. Bursae, the definition. Protrusion of the synovial membrane through the joint space via apertures. Look at this, the synovial membrane brain will leave and will take some of that synovial fluid with it outside the confinements of the joint capsule. So what's the bursa? It's a synovial membrane plus synovial fluid inside of it. Both of these are work outside the confinement of the joint capsule. Or you can say a bursa is closed flattened sac of synovial membrane filled with synovial fluid. Okay, functions, protection, facilitation of movement and lubrication. By the way, did you know that synovial fluid normally exists in the synovial joint inside the bursa and in the tendon sheath? Okay, medicosis, now I understand the definition and I know the function. What's the clinical significance? Bursitis, inflammation or infection of the bursa due to chronic overuse, as we will discuss soon. What are the types of bursae? According to their site, you have submuscular bursa. What does that mean? It means they are below sub muscles. So they are below the muscles, i.e. between the muscle and the underlying bone. How about subcutaneous? It means under the skin, between the skin and the underlying bone. Look at this wonderful bursa here. It's between the skin and the underlying patella. Next, we have subtendinous bursa beneath the tendon or between the tendon and the underlying structure, such as between the tendon and the bone. Sometimes we have bursa between two tendons. We call this inter between ligamentous bursa. You can also call it intertendinous bursa. And we have adventitious bursa, extra bursa. What's that? Newly formed bursa that did not exist before. Why did it form? It formed because your skin was subjected to repeated pressure against bone in order to provide you for with skin mobility. This is the story of the mechanic the babysitter, etc. Chronic overuse. Examples of subcutaneous bursa is the subcutaneous prepatellar bursa and the subcutaneous infrapatellar bursa. Look at this one, it's in front of the patella, i.e. prepatellar. Look at this one, it's below the patella, i.e. infrapatellar. Okay, medicosis, are these the only bursa that we have in the body? No, 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 no. Do not forget your omental bursa, which is the peritoneum of the lesser sac in your abdomen, and the ovarian bursa, which is the peritoneal recess when it comes in close proximity to the medial surface of the ovary. And here are your lovely bursa. Submuscular, subcutaneous, subtendinous. Pause and review. Now let's take it to the next level, clinical correlation. Bursitis, inflammation of bursa. The history. The patient presents with a history of chronic overuse on that joint, trauma or acute hemorrhage to that joint, or an inflammatory disease such as gout or rheumatoid arthritis, or could be caused by sepsis after a penetrating injury or a spread from a nearby source of infection. Physical exam. The patient presents with a coin that is swollen painful, fluctuant and warm, because it's an acute inflammation. Hey, medicosis, can this be chronic bursitis? Yeah, chronic bursitis exists. In this case, you will not find pain. And you will not find the cardinal signs of acute inflammation, which are redness, hotness, swelling, pain, loss of function. 
you might still find the swelling but the others very unlikely okay medicosis back to acute bursitis what's the most important question the most important question is do you think it is septic or not if it's just caused by chronic overuse then just rest in ice but if it is septic first of all we need to prove it by aspiring the bursa and then we can use gram stain or culture to prove a bacterial infection what if bursal aspiration is not possible where i work then use your clinical judgment do you think this patient is feverish do you think we have systemic signs of inflammation is the bursa exquisitely tender do we have elevation of esr and crp is the bursa warm to the touch etc etc if so you can start treatment and since the overwhelming majority of infected bursae are caused by bacteria you give antibiotic examples of bursitis well it depends on the joint your knee it's called patellar bursitis how about the elbow olecranon bursitis how about the trochanter of my femur trochanteric bursitis how about the issue gluteal region issue gluteal bursitis these notes are clean by the way you can download most of my notes on my website medicosisperfectionalist.com also on my website i have a surgery high yields course if you want to learn about cholecystitis cholangitis pericarditis tamponade pleural effusion trauma surgery etc just download it on my website no subscription needed you download it once and you keep it for you forever thank you for watching please subscribe hit the bell and click on the joint button i mean the join button and you can support me here or here go to my website to download my courses be safe stay happy study hard this is medicosis perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense